Ciao Michi, hello everyone à tous. Welcome back once again on my YouTube channel. So first, I would like to wish you a late Merry Christmas and also a Happy New Year because we're a few days before New Year. And I thought that this video could help you guys to sh to start the year well. Just because I am going to talk about pimples. Let's talk about pimples, baby. Let's talk about pimples, baby. Yes, I decided to talk about pimples because everyone has them and everyone hates them. And I'm gonna talk about few ingredients. Also stuff that you can do, especially after the new year, after all the food, the alcohol, your skin might freak out a bit. Let's jump into the product and ingredients that are going to help you guys. First ingredient I'm gonna talk about, well, it's the first step of the skincare routine will be toners. I'm going to talk about toners and also ingredients. I don't know if you heard about you have BHAs and you have AHAs. So for example, toners is a good product that you can use to treat your pimple just because it's the first product that goes on your skin and you also have good ingredients to treat them. So I will give you an example. I have two toners here. So I have the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic and I also have the Clear Skin Purifying Toner from Kodali. The main difference, so if I start with the Ren, you see AHA and if I read in the ingredients, lactic acid. So AHA, keep this in mind. And you also have from Kodali exfoliating salicylic acid which is a BHA. So the main difference, AHA goes above the skin, keep that in mind, and BHA goes below the skin. There's no one better than the other. The main difference is that the AHA, since it goes above their skin, it sticks at the surface while the BHA goes a little bit deeper. So when you have pimple, it can be like acne, uh, acne pimples, cystic acne as well. You want to use a BHA because you really want to treat it deep down there. <laughs> that being said, you will go with salicylic acid. H and BXJ can also be exfoliating, so make sure you don't over exfoliate your skin. My next step is exfoliating your skin. This is a step that is really important because exfoliation kind of removes the dead skin and all the impurities of your skin. So you want to make sure that you exfoliate not every day. I will say maybe every two days. So for example, uh, Dr. Dennis Gross, it's a chemical. So you have two types of exfoliation. You have the physical and the chemical and you have a third one that is a mix of both physical and chemical. When I say physical, it's like something physically there. So if you see exfoliation with beads, you try to avoid this when you have pimples and acne because the thing is you're gonna rub it and it might pop your pimples and spread it all out. You don't want that. That's why I suggest, I'm showing you this one from Dr. Dennis Grill, but you can go any exfoliation physical, um, chemical. So you wanna use the HA, BHA. For the toners, it exfoliates slightly, but for sure it's a toner that you use every day, so it's a small amount, while exfoliation is really a bigger amount. So that's step number two. Once you use your toner and your exfoliation, it's also really important to hydrate your skin. Most of the people use something that is like a gel that is mattifying and then a lotion mattifying and then exfoliation, exfoliation, and then your skin becomes so dry. This is not the best thing to do. So yes, you need to use something that dries your skin out. So like exfoliation, toner, and stuff like that. But you also need to hydrate your skin. Most of the people tend to forget this step just because your skin you want it balance. I like using mask and only let's say you I usually have pimples here I use mask only on the region only at the spot treatment so let's say you have oily skin you use your everyday skincare product but try to use like a mask maybe once or twice a week that you can apply on your pimples it can be here here and here also, don't be afraid to hydrate your skin. I am showing you the one that I'm using currently, which is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Face Cream. So it's a regular face cream. Try to use a regular day cream just to help to hydrate your skin without drying it too much. 
Now, I'm going to talk about irritation. Most of the time when we have pimples, it's a little bit irritated. You'll see red around. So use something, for example, uh, this is a toner from Origin. It's the Mega Mushroom Skin Relief. So it's a toner that it's gonna help suit your skin. Don't be afraid to use stuff like this as a treatment. Let's say you see that your skin is getting better, but it's still a little bit irritated. So use stuff that are gonna help to calm your skin. I think I'm at my fourth step now. This is something that everyone knows and everybody does. Do not pop your pimple. I know when you see, especially the white head, you're like eh, but try not to do it if you want to do it use two cut arounds and pop it instead of using your fingers and also make sure that your skin is clean so let's say wash your skin use two cut around pop the pimple and also use after either like a spa treatment or something that it's gonna help not to spread your acne liquid all over the skin <laughs> Also, you can use some spot treatment. This is a mask that goes all over the skin, but you can definitely use it as a spot treatment. So you see this one is a purifying mask. It helps to target blemish it and it also clarifies your skin. What it does, it actually helps to like get rid of all of the excess oil. So once again, use it as a spot treatment and not all over. Another trick, I think I'm at my fifth trick now, it has nothing to do about skincare. Make sure to eat well, especially this time of the year. We eat a lot of greasy food. We drink a lot of wine. So you can do all the steps that I'm recommending for you, but you eat like shit. Sorry <laughs> for the way I say it, but try to make sure you eat well. And it's party mode right now, so everyone's overly eating. It's fine. But after for the new year, try to kind of go back to normal. Don't try to avoid like chips and and fries and stuff like this you can eat once in a while but for sure if you take so much care of your skin and you eat not healthy stuff it's gonna show on your skin talking about food there are some ingredients that also can accentuate your pimples so I know there's like milk anything with lactose uh, like ice cream yogurt I know people like gluten as well so try to see when you eat do you get more pimples I know sometimes chocolate can increase like the number of pimples in your face of course stress this is something that everyone lives with it but it's kind of hard to control but try to control uh, your level of stress you can definitely like be fine and then the next day you have let's say an exam or you have a job interview and then you get full of pimples Another trick is to drink a lot of water. I'm the one who really have to force myself to drink water. I'm not drinking enough, but drink a lot of water. It's gonna help for your skin, for the way you look, and also because you wanna make sure that your whole body has enough water, not just your skin, but the whole body. Um... Oh, and another thing that people tend to forget is clean your brushes. A lot of people use their brushes every day, but they clean it, I don't know, once every month. Try to avoid that. Just because your brush goes on your face, you, you goes on the product, and it kind of accumulates bacteria, and you want to avoid that because if you're treating your skin and your skin is getting better, and then the night before you pop a pimple, you use your brush to apply foundation, and then you put it the next day, it's not really good. I talked about using the toner, the right ingredients. I talked about mask, hydrate your skin, try to eat well, drink water, do not pop pimples, and clean your brushes. So those three, uh, well, for me, it works. Let me know if it works for you. Some Once in a while, I get pimples, but take good care of my skin. That's why it's rare that I have pimple. If you do, it might help you as well. I think I mentioned pretty much everything. Let me know in the comments below if it works for you, if you have other products that really worked fine. And also before I leave you guys, I already have my resolution, but I thought it would be interested that you guys also pick a second resolution for me. Let me know in the comments below of this video what can be my resolution. In my next video, I'll mention my new resolution 
and also I'll pick one of yours. Happy New Year and let's hope that this video really starts the year well. So once again, I love you forever and always. I will see you soon. Bye guys.